All right, so boys and girls, this is the last video I'm going to show you on this uh, particular lesson. Um, this should definitely help you with tonight's, um, with tomorrow's test. Um, you're not going to see this on your um, extra practice, but once again, parents, if you're watching the videos with your kids, you can give them some extra practice that goes with it. Um, uh, that's very similar to the pra uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, lesson that I'm going to do right now. All right, so boys and girls, I have seven um, over ten minus two over uh, a missing number. Now, you're going to find one of these problems where you have to find a denominator. Now, remember, the denominator is the number that's on the bottom. Now, what do you know so far? Well, you know that you have the common denominator as 10. So, we're going to go ahead and rewrite the problem like we normally would. We're going to do the four-square model. It's funny. It seems like I've been saying it all day today. It's a four-square model. And the reason why is because it's definitely going to help you see it better. All right. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the problem. I have 7 tenths minus um, 2 with a question mark. Okay, and I know the denominator, I'm sorry, and I, I'm i already given the answer, which is 3 tenths. Okay, now, boys and girls, same thing, but the great thing is you don't have to find the LCD because the LCD is, whoop, whoop, already given. So, boys and girls, I'm going to give you guys a 10 on that one, all right? So, boys and girls, you know for a fact that your answer is going to have a 10 in it. And you know that your final answer is going to have, it's going to be 3 tenths. All right? So we're just going to go backwards and set it up just how it's going to be. All right? So I'm going to do here. All right? I'm going to write down 7 tenths here. All right? And 2 and a question mark here. All right? So, boys and girls, you're going to see how many multiples it take to get from 10 to 10, which is really simple. It's just 1. And then 7 minus 1 is 7. I'm sorry, 7 times 1 is 7. All right. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. You're going to subtract your denominator, your, your, um, your, uh, your numerator to find out what this answer is. All right. So, 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay. Now, just work backwards. 2 times what gives you 4? Well, that's 2 and 2. And you write your 2 here and your 2 here. Now, remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Now, divide. 10 goes into 2. Well, the answer is 5. So, so the, your missing number underneath that 2 is 5. All right. Sorry. All right, boys and girls, it's that simple. If you have any question, um, definitely maybe do a couple of practice on your own. Um, parents, if you're watching, it's simple fractions. Um, don't do anything intricate. Just make it really basic just for them to get the answer. Um, <coughs> but if you have any question, definitely uh, shoot me an email. I'm sorry, shoot me a class dojo message or... You can um, simply just circle it, and we can do a couple problems, practice on our own. All right? So that's how you find numerators. This is how you find um, problems. I'm sorry, denominators. This is how you find problems with numerators. So I'm going to pause the video real quick, and I'm going to come. All right. So in this video right here, or this segment right here, I'm strictly just talking about finding the numerator. It is so eerily similar to be able to find the missing denominator. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. There's that four-square model I really want for you guys. First thing you're going to do is write the problem, which is two-thirds plus question mark and six. All right, and the answer is five-six, and I keep going back so that way I can see it. All right, the next thing you're going to do is find the LCD, and the cool thing about the LCD, it is already, if you haven't said it yet, written for you. So, therefore, it's already written for you. All right, so you know for a fact your denominator is going to have a 6 in it. All right, you're just going to go backwards now. Write down 2 thirds and the question mark and 6 over here. You know your answer is going to be 5 6, so put your 5 6 over here and you don't have to simplify the answer to find it. Okay, now boys and girls, you go ahead and do it straight across. How many multiples did it take to get from 3 to 6? Well, it took 2 multiples to get there. 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. Over here, how many multiples did it take to get from 6 to 6? Well, it's just 1. All right. Go ahead and subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay. Now, go ahead and go work backwards. 1, I'm sorry, 1 goes into 1, 1 time. So you know for a fact that your answer for the numerator is 1. 
So the answer is one six. Boys and girls, it's that simple. Um, there's nothing more that I have to teach you tonight. Um, I wish you all the best. Listen up. Make sure you study. You do the extra practice and circle the ones you're confused with. Practice those word problems. Make sure you use the pink paper to be able to determine this, the um, situation. Remember, the, the situation plus the operation is going to give you the right answer. Um, and uh, make sure you have your journal, your math journal with you while you're practicing. If you have any questions, send me a class dojo message. But I hope this has helped tonight. Good luck with tomorrow's test, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.